Bike man, then. Bike man, then. Live, love, and laugh. What is up, Bikers of this world and people of YouTube? This is Bike Man Ban here, and um, this is a special episode of Minecraft. This is not um, my um, survival Minecraft at the moment. Um, I'm just showing you guys what my next project will be. Um, and you know, I came up with this design. This is a uh, cable stay bridge, as you can see. And, you know, it's pretty sweet. I got the um, railroad on top. It will have four railways. And you know, I got these. Uh, um, powered rails here with um, detector rails on either side. That way, here's on. Oh no, that was horse. Sorry. <laughs> that way, I don't have to um, have the redstone underneath or beside of it. Just looks better this way. Um, a little more work, maybe. I mean, these just take pressure plates. It's not really that much more difficult, you know, to make the detector rails. Um, this also has will have glowstone, which we will need another four. And then, um, this is a cable stay bridge, if, if I didn't say that before. Which means that you have the center pillar, which is made out of this uh, nether quartz blocks and stairs. Makes it look pretty epic. And then, uh, with the cable stay bridge, the cables go directly from this pillar to the road deck, which, as you can see, is uh, represented by the spruce wood stairs right here. And they just go from here to up to there, which is pretty cool. And then, of course, there are different uh, designs you can have for a cable stay bridge, but I um, decided to go with this design because uh, there's some designs where the middle pillar just goes straight through. But I thought this, you know, this looked cooler like this, where the middle pillar breaks up and wraps around. I just think it looks uh, sweeter like that. Um, so, guys, let's take a look underneath here. There is a second level here. And this level, um, you might have already noticed the horse sound, and that is because there is a horse right there. See the horse? It's a little horse. Yeah. Oh, this could be tricky. Tricky to get into. There we go. Yeah, but there's a lower level here. And I have these little crossbars, because uh, on some of the cable stay bridges, they do have two levels. And the second level has these crossbars. So I thought I'd try and replicate that in. I think I like this design with these crossbars. And as you can see, there's more uh, glowstone down here to light up. And then this area um, is just dirt. And um, I know that I said in a previous episode of Minecraft that everything I build will be supported, which this is. And I know this is dirt, but don't, um, you know, don't get worried about that because there is another level underneath this part, which I will show you which uh, supports this area. So no problem with that. Um, and here I have some hay bales for him, and then I put some uh, bone meal down as well to make the grass and flowers and stuff, make it look cool. But anyway guys, let's, uh, is he hooked up to anything? No, okay. Let's hop on him, take a ride. So this uh, lower area is just for horses, you know, to so you can ride your horse down here, so you don't have to ride on the railroad track. Um, so yeah, it's, you know, it's just a little short section right now. This is just one section of the bridge. So there will be a five sections total for this bridge. So this bridge is quite um, intense, let's just say. So yeah, so there's that. Okay, so let's get off him. Just hit shift and you'll hop right off. See, yeah, he has his gold armor on too, which I got. And you can only, you can't actually create that armor, which is a bummer, but it's creative mode, so whatever. I just gave it to him, so it's okay. Okay, so so I need to show you guys this lower, the lowest level here. See, and this supports um, the bottom section here, dirt. And um, what this is, it's just like a water canal, just so we have water wherever we go. And then there's redstone power on either side. Um, this one goes uh, away from me, and then this other one comes towards me, so there's both directions there. Um, I don't know if they'll actually be functional, because I haven't really uh, tried using redstone for a long distance because 
my theory is um, you can use it to like switch tracks or you know stuff like that cool stuff like that but the problem is I don't know if it actually works because eventually this the parts of the map down there are not loaded and uh, redstone travels pretty quickly so it travels faster than what I can travel so it'll eventually get to a point where the map isn't loaded and I don't know if it'll stop um, if it just won't work or if it will continue going once we once that map starts to load I don't know exactly but I mean we can give it a try see what happens so that'll be pretty fun to figure out and let's just go out here take a few more ganders at this pretty sweet looking I like it I'm um, basically it's just uh, a bunch of uh, of a uh, quartz blocks spruce wood some um, some um, fences uh, rails power rails detector rails glowstone and cobblestone and then uh, stone blocks some dirt and then you'll need some uh, bone meal as well a horse and you know some horse armor if you want it basically that's all this bridge is really for one section just a few pieces I think it looks pretty sweet though I'm digging it so guys um that is this I do have some pictures which um I will show you guys in just a second and then from there um I will jump into my actual Minecraft um, survival mode and I will show you guys um, where the bridge will go and uh, how many pieces the bridge will have. So if you guys would uh, stick around and uh, enjoy the rest of this presentation. So I will see you guys later. See you guys. Bye, man. Alright guys, and we are back in my Minecraft survival world. This is the um, great library, right here. And we need to go down. We need to go down the stairwell. Be real quick, fast. And uh, we're going to head towards the um, new railway corridor, which you, uh, which you guys, which I showed you guys in the last episode, the ending there. Oh, uh, here's Skelton. There's a creeper there too. Why are all these creepers spawning down here? I don't know. Need better lighting, I guess. Um, we're just gonna make a run for it. Go, go, go! <laughs> go! Oh, he's over there. I see him. Go, go, go! Run for the hills! Or at least for this doorway. Inside. Let's jump into the water pit. Woo! Splash! Yeah. Splash, splash. Alright. Keep walking this way. I'm going to do this at night, which probably isn't a good idea. Here's a bed. I haven't slept in like ages. Let's take a nap. Nighty night. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh, yeah. Stretch. All right. Stretch. Ready to go. That was a good night's sleep. Right here. See my little cows. My little cows. Let's go down this way first of oh. spider. Where are you? Yeah. Where are you? Oh, he's down here. Come here, spider. Don't go. In, don't go in the tunnel. Don't even run away from me. Oh, there you are. Thank you. Anyway, <laughs> down here, guys. I leveled this off. This will be the new uh, railway station. Um, 
It probably won't be a square. It'll probably wrap around somehow. I don't. I don't know yet. But I level this area off anyway. I was gonna put the farm here to begin with, but I changed my mind. Uh, the farm will go somewhere else. But for now, it you know just leveled off. It has a cool view. I like it. Sweet view, as you guys saw in the end of that last episode. And of course, the railway will run right through here. There will be uh, two rails on this side, and then two other rails on this side with a space in the middle. And then it will go down through this little um, hole here. I will dig this out more eventually. But for now, it's just, you know, just, just a hole. I think I found a little cave system over here somewhere up there. Pretty sweet. And then it will go up uh, to the top of the tree farm, or to the level of the tree farm, I guess you could say. And as you can see, we came up here, and then there's a spruce wood tree farm, and the nice view of the library. Pretty sweet. Um, and in this, I started, uh, I wanted to show you guys what it would look like. I did one half. Um, so I didn't put the arch in this half though, but this will be the uh, primary, the first bridge anyway. Um, as you can see, I finished, I did either side in the middle pillar here. And there'll be an arch going on on each side, so that'll be pretty sweet. And then the sides will look like this. And uh, as you saw at the beginning of the episode with the cable stay bridge, um, it looks, the side looks identical to this, so I just wanted to match it up. Because as you can see, there's that giant hill over there. See that? Um, the Cable State Bridge will start at the very top of that hill. Um, and uh, in, at the beginning of this episode, you saw that the Cable State Bridge was kind of low. But I raised it up about 10 or so blocks higher, just so it's above all everything. And it'll look, it'll look cooler like that. And then this way, the, the horse part will be able to just come right off. Because the this is for the railroad section, but the horse uh, portion is below that, so the horse will it'll be easier to get off and on. You won't you won't be in a hole. You'll 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 see what I mean, guys, when I when we get started on the bridge there. Um, but anyway, uh, this is the top here is identical to the cable stay bridge as well. There'll be two rails here, and in the center part where we can put glowstone and other types. But for now, we just have these torches until we get to the Nether. And now I set up this uh, little building here, but first what I want to show you guys is the um, underneath part of this, which is kind of hard to get into. Just jump down here first of all. I thought I made a little path, but I guess I really didn't. Let's jump up here, and I'll show you guys this. Um, this is the underneath part. Let's jump on this tree, actually. So I did, uh, again, I did one half of this. As you can see, there's uh, the pillar here to support the end, and then it has a sweet arch going on. And then these uh, wooden uh, fences act as like supports, basically. It looks kind of cool. I'll have to do this other half here um, in a later episode. But that, it looks sweet for now. So let's hop back up on top of the railway here real quick, using these trees. Come on, lag. Like so. And let's do a hop. There we go. And why don't we just go up to the top of this really quick, fast. And I will show you guys um, what the bridge will be. And from this point here is the first block. Or maybe not, I don't know. I think I think this might be the first block of the bridge. And it'll go that way, and eventually there's this giant mountain that it'll go into. Um, and then there'll be a tunnel there. And there are five sections to the bridge, so five pillars will be need will need to be built. And basically, each of those pillars is about 70 blocks high, which amounts to about, um, of course, we'll need a bunch of nether quartz blocks and a bunch of stairs, and that amounts to about 3,300 nether quartz ore from the nether is what we'll need for one pillar. Um, we actually need five times as much to finish the entire bridge. And um, as you can see, I built this little, um, I guess, hut, you could say. It has a nice little roof here, um, just to store all the materials. I have all the materials written down on these, um, uh, what it is, on these signs. And like, say, coal 301. The 301 is how much coal we actually need, how many uh, coal um, pieces, I guess you could say. 
And then we need 144 iron ingots, 18 gold ingots, um, so to speak. Well, let's start at the top. Where is the nether quartz ore? I think it's over here. Yep. Okay. So the first thing we need is the nether quartz. That'll be basically one of the hardest things to get because um, there's a lot of it in the nether, but, you know, it's still hard to get. But anyway, we need 3,300 nether quartz ore. So that's the blocks from the nether. And then from there, we'll turn those blocks into 603 quartz blocks and then 130 uh, quartz stairs. And again, guys, this is all just for one section of the bridge and we need five sections. So multiply these numbers by five and you'll get your final answer. Um, we need water buckets for the underneath section of the bridge. You know what the water, I guess you could say water's pipe, I guess, I don't know. We need 84 buckets because uh, each section is 84 blocks long. And then, um, let's see, we need 420 spruce wood planks. And then we need, um, what does that say? 864 spruce wood stairs. We need 38 glowstone dust to make the um, glowstone blocks, which are pretty sweet. And I would say just like a stack of bone meal to turn that grass to make it more beautiful or pretty or handsome, whatever you want to say. <laughs> You know, put some flowers and some taller grass in there. Make it look sweet on that lower section. Um, we need 150 redstone dust. That's for the wiring on the underneath section. Um, and 35 redstone repeaters. Just to keep that redstone signal going. Um, I don't know if it'll work though, but why not try, right? Um, and then these are just extra chests on top, just in case I need something else. Um, we need 336 cobblestone blocks. We need 288 regular rails, and this is for the bridge. This doesn't include this section here. This is extra. Um, we need 16 power rails and 32 detector rails as well, just so we can keep going. Um, in the next update, the power rails will be more powerful, I've heard, but I don't know how much that will change. And then they also said that um, there's a chance you can get derailed on the rails since the power rails are more powerful but we'll see what happens and if I walk over here uh, we need 2408 stone bricks which is quite a bit but that's achievable we have a lot of cobblestone no problem we need 140 fences 420 dirt blocks um, and then 840 stone brick slabs which uh, wrap around the bottom section of the bridge and on the sides a little bit and then over here we have an extra chest, or 441 sticks, and as for the fences, and uh, there's something else that needs sticks, oh, the um, rails need sticks as well. And uh, then uh, coal, 301, and that is for the um, stone bricks and the stone brick slabs to change the cobblestone in the stone brick, or in the stones, and then change those in the stone bricks. Um, and then we need gold, 18 of, them, 18 of the ingots, and that is for the powered rails. And then uh, 144 iron ingots, and that's for the rails as well. Um, I think we went through all of it. That is everything for the bridge. Um, I'm not. I'm. I'm not guaranteeing that's everything, but that's most of it. Oh, another thing. We need one horse, a saddle, and a horse armor, and a lead. But that's you know that's uh, not really included because we just need one of those. So no big deal. Um, but yeah, guys, that, that's basically all the pieces. Uh, the total pieces for one section, I added these all together, just so you guys don't have to, is uh, 6,895, which is quite an enormous amount. But you know, like I said before, I don't do things small. I like to have huge, you know, giant projects, you know. I mean, go big or go home, right? And this is a giant project. I mean, look at this thing. I mean... Even this section right here is just a giant project, let alone the bridge. Um, th and this railway will lead to the um, strip mine. That's probably important for me to tell you guys. It's like, why am I building this railway? It's not going anywhere. No, it's going to the strip mine, which is far up north. So this, uh, yeah, this bridge is just the first part of this um, epic railway corridor. Because after that, it goes through a tunnel, and then it'll drop down into a water tunnel, and yeah, it's pr it'll be a pretty intense railway. So, but for now, it's just kind of, 
you know, not, not really anything at the moment, but no big deal. Let me put some torches over here while I'm thinking about it too. Torch. So we don't get blown up by creepers or whatever, you know. That's never good, right? Slide up this area here. Alright, so I also added up... Um, I multiplied the total amount of pieces, which was 6,895 times 5, because we need uh, 5 sections. And that total is 34,475 total pieces for this bridge with all 5 sections. And I'm, like, I'm thinking, that's a lot of pieces. You know, but I'm sure... Oh, that's it. Oh, jeez. Chicken, you scared me. You scared me. Oh, that's a zombie. He scared me. I thought it was a creeper or something. I'm like, what's that noise? No, but um, the library, I'm sure, has a ton more pieces than that, though. But I haven't, I haven't calculated that. Look how cool that looks, though. It'll look even cooler with the another portal room on the top there. But um, guys, I think that will. Well, let's look over here first. That will conclude this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And let me see here. Here we go. And you know, if you super duper, super duper enjoyed this episode, please hit that red subscribe button. Oh, there's the ender. There's the enderman. No. And and I need to do with this enderman. What are you doing? Do? Get out of here. Trying to end this episode. What are you doing? Hey, way over there. You. Oh no, you're right here. Stop it. Go back. <laughs> let's uh, let's go, uh, no, 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 let me sleep, sleepy time, <laughs> sleepy time, okay, let's go get our stuff, actually, I'll tell you what, let me try and end the episode now, <laughs> so anyway guys, if you like this, if you uh, enjoyed this episode, please hit that lag button, and if you super duper, super duper enjoyed this episode, please hit that red subscribe button. And as always guys, remember to live, love, and laugh. And uh, yeah, try try not to die as much as I do. Y you know, that would be helpful too. So I'm going to go pick up my stuff guys, and I will see you all in the next episode of Minecraft Survival Hard Mode. See you guys later.